Good morning, my friends. Today is going to be another busy day. What day isn't a busy day around this farm? It's early in the morning, very early. Anyway, let's go ahead and get some coffee going. Caramel, Texas boys coffee. It's actually already ground, but since I already know the measurement in the grinder, actually a beaver tooth rod and somebody gifted it to me on a job site and it actually came with another one and they and they used to sorry I still haven't got coffee so my eyes are still crazy still sleepy but they used to be another rod and they used to cross and then they were supposed to like you're supposed to drag your knife in between them but I took it apart and the beaver tooth part of it um, little rod here works beautifully for sharpening your printers. So what I'm doing this morning, I have, I have some Sharpie and I got a Sharpie and I got some paper. You might be saying, what the heck are you doing? So I had a couple people order the food for us in a box when I mean just a couple like a lot so hopefully our farm has enough stuff for all of these people and I don't have to like reach out to other people that have stuff so I guess we'll see so I'm back I got every I wrote down exactly what comes in a food forest in the box a small and an extra the coffee is done Got some farm fresh honey here. We actually stopped selling our we actually stopped selling the honey on our website. So those who got the honey, you got a special treat. Maybe we'll uh, put it back up for sale on the website in a little bit. Put it in the old coffee. Lately, I've been actually just having my coffee black. Hold on, I'm gonna tick off every old person out there or young people out there that drink straight black coffee. I used to drink it with creamer and everything like that. And then, I don't know, like it just was, I needed to change something up. I just, one day just decided just not to put any creamer in my coffee. And now I just drink it with a little bit of honey. I haven't went back since, so. And it does help when you have really, really good coffee because if you just had like Joe Schmo coffee, like hotel coffee, hotel room coffee, everybody knows what hotel room coffee tastes like. Anybody out there that actually likes that stuff, that would be interesting conversation. When you have high quality coffee, um, you actually can taste it more without having any creamer in it. Now we can officially start the morning. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to kind of do this all. I have, I'm gonna show you real quick. I, have something here to show you real quick. What's in here? Boxes. So when I was, I launched the food forest in a box, I told James, dude, I wanna have a nice box that all of these cuttings come in. So then it will be a literal food forest in a box. You won't. Um, it won't be like receiving cuttings that we normally sell, like individually in Ziploc bags and everything. The Ziploc bags and everything will be in their own little personal box and it'll make it super, super nice. So that's what these are. We ordered like 40 or 50 of them. And hopefully, Lord willing, we have enough because I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole thing because if you don't know, if you want to get your own food forest in the box, I think there's only 
when this video goes up, I think there's only one day left. Only one day left. You can go get your own food farce in the box. The small comes with two fig cuttings of our choice, three blackberries, three elderberries, three goji berries, three black mulberries, and 16 grow pods. The 16 grow pods is actually what you put the cuttings in to root them out. And then there's bigger packages as well. I wanted to sell something that somebody can invest their money in and in about three years it can be very it can be producing a lot of food for their family so this is something that you can invest in and you can hold it and you can eat it as well and share and even make your own little business out of it too as well um, so all depends I wanted to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that bought a food forest in the box. It was um, a true blessing to me, um, 100%. I made the food forest in the box, and within the first three minutes, people started buying them, and I was very, I was very happy about the whole thing. So thank you very much for everyone that bought one. Buddy made the box. Here's the box. It will have our. We got our custom native stickers are nice and big they will go on there but this is I'm like a monkey with a box here you go this is what I wanted something that flips up like this ta-ta and then get to see inside super cool this is what I wanted something a little bit wanted I wanted to give back I wanted to have something very very nice very presentable for y'all so then um, you know it will literally be food forest in a box. So, so we sold actually, we sold 20 small food forest in a box and then we sold one extra large food forest in a box. So that is absolutely incredible. So now we can do some calculations here for how many cuttings I'm gonna have to go out this morning and cut. 44 fig cuttings. 60 blackberry cuttings, 60 elderberry, a hundred and we need a hundred and twenty-five mulberry cuttings. Three hundred and twenty grow pods. That is quite a big cutting order. I've never had the right that down on a piece of paper and be like, okay, I'm gonna go cut that. So anyway. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started packing up the orders. I have 70 elderberry cuttings, 150 mulberry cuttings, 60 or 70 blackberry cuttings and then 70 goji berry cuttings and then for the fig cuttings these are I think pretty much every one of these I just went around and cut off a couple of the fig trees that we have so it'll be a surprise for y'all which one y'all get this one's a black mission this is a beers black another beers black Lemon Fig, Desert King, a Nero 600, and a LSU Purple. So, you will get one of those in your, you'll at least get one of those in your food forest in a box. So, let's get started. Real quick, not everyone will be getting this in your food forest in a box because I actually ran out. So, I'm putting it on the video. Um, so even people that didn't order the food for us in the box, y'all can go check this out too. Go check out, um, go check out IV Organics on YouTube. Super awesome guy. Sells all types of different amendments and everything like that. My dad was on a podcast video with him. Use uh, the promo code Texas10 to get 10% off your order. He sells all types of super cool stuff. My dad uses, my dad uses his stuff all the time. So go check him out. And I just wanted to say that so then um, everybody can get some super cool stuff with your food forest in a box.
Alrighty. Alrighty, so we got nine of the food force in the box. Boxes all done here. As you can see. But I just ran out of Ziploc bags, so I'm gonna have to go and run and get some Ziploc bags. But they are turning out to be really cool boxes. Just overall, super fun to do. A little bit of craziness going on here. But yeah, overall, it's been going very well. James has been helping me. Super cool. It is day two of craziness here around the farm. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Camera. Hello, thank you. We all got done our schoolwork. It's always, sorry about the camera. It's always hard to balance life and business and farm and fun and all that things like that. So we already got done our schoolwork for the day. So praise the Lord on that. That's something we can praise the Lord on. The other thing is that the business has been going very well. When you are seeing this video, it is the last day to, to get a food forest in the box and cuttings because you might be saying why because in certain places of the country there's still snow on the ground and everything like that down here in Texas everything's blooming everything's starting to put on fruit and when you're taking cuttings or especially fig cuttings a lot of them have little figs on them and then you're just cutting fruit off and of course when you go to root them uh, those little figs die actually because they can't support to grow figs until like the second year so anyway, today is the last day you can get your food forest in the box, and if you don't get it today, I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but if you, actually if you don't get your cuttings, even if it's just normal fig cuttings or any type of cuttings, you'll actually have to wait. We won't be selling it until this fall. So until everything starts to go back to sleep and everything like that, and we will start the whole entire process up again, and then that time we will have the food forest in the box, Lord willing, will be available, hopefully, we'll see, uh, next year, if we didn't get like sucked up into a tornado and everything like that, so anyway. James has grabbed the bull by the horns. It's quite a lot, you gotta kinda manage everything. We really want, we really like to have quality um, stuff. We don't just like to throw it in the bag and ship it out to y'all. Um, so we have, you know, discount stickers that we put on stuff. Um, get really nice stickers so I mean stickers are actually quite expensive um, so anyway uh, you know have nice boxes so if your stuff actually comes in the mail y'all kind of a little wilty like this it's perfectly fine they just leafed out just snip off the little green green ends on them they'll be perfect like even with these blackberries if they're looking a little sad actually when you are doing cuttings you actually want to chop off the leaves anyway um but just snipping them off so some of them will be pre-snipped kind of just just the you know sad looking droopy parts so anyway some will be super fresh and some will be you know two days old but they're super fresh off the tree so anyway james is going to try not to <laughs> stumble here on the camera okay a little bit of bubble wrap there that's a little added bonus today, huh? Well, just on the ones that aren't as full. Oh, aren't as full, okay. So the ones that might, we don't want them to shake around too much. Yep. Put a little, nice little sticker on today's packages. But yeah, this is our little home business. I would really like to make something. The other cool thing for all of the natives, if you don't know what natives are, if you're new to the channel, that is our membership program five dollars a month and you get access to all of our family's um recipes james just made james is converting all of our recipes into printouts too so when you're there you have the option to print it out so then you do not have to have your phone um on the counter with you and getting slopped up you can have a disposable sheet of paper that can get cookie dough on it or whatever and then you can throw it away um so that's super cool he's making it really really pretty and so that's super cool so there'll be a little button you'll be able to click it print it out uh, and that's the other thing that we do too that's the other thing that we do too here these are all printouts from different 
websites, different places that we find over the years. And then we take all of those recipes, put our own spin on them because, you know, we've been using, once we use a recipe for so many times, we kind of can convert it. Like one of mom's recipes, um, she took a normal cookie, gluten-free cookie recipe, added peanut butter to it and several, and a couple other ingredients. And it's literally the best gluten-free peanut butter cookies I've ever had in my life when if you would just go online and get a normal gluten-free cookie dough recipe I don't know they're always just like mmm they're, they're not the best in the world um, they kind of taste super healthy and stuff like that so anyway that is a little bit of a native update we got so much stuff going on um, we haven't been able to add too many new recipes over there so um, very sorry but we will get around to adding more recipes as we acquire them She's all done. She's all done? Sweet. Main brains of the operation here. Stands silent and thinking. I sit here and he down. sits here and waits Spare and penny spares pennies. Got $8 and has a pocket watch and perpetually checks the time. <laughs>